guys. Hey, we got a long push. Actually, we're about in the middle of the long push over from uh, Golf Breeze. Got John in the background right there. <laughs> uh, long push over from Golf Breeze to Hickory Shores Boulevard. We're getting ready to get started on a big uh, teardown. It's a retainer wall that was done properly, no tiebacks on it. Lower C wall that was done. I guess the uh, tiebacks have failed and something I've never seen. They used the vinyl in the wrong corrugation style. They tried to make the sheets stretch further, which didn't give you enough corrugation depth in the vinyl for the protection of the wall. But you'll see that. I'll get some videos of it and let y'all see what's going on. But if y'all would, keep on uh, subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, like. Uh, if you had a comment, feel free to leave me a comment. Thanks. Project. Big old retainer wall like I was talking about. You can see it was not sealed up properly against these old walls. No tieback systems, which I'm surprised this thing's still standing because it's probably about 10 foot exposed. You, know, you can see it's leaned out pretty good also. You see the lower seawall leaking also. Just a mess of return walls here. It wasn't connected properly to the wall next door. It's all failing and all coming out. Taking this out. Got this whole dock, old piling, boathouse coming out. This is what I was talking about when he did the corrugations incorrectly. You can see here where the vinyl, right there, that's, they've got it stretched out where it's not put together properly. We don't get the full effect of the depth of the vinyl. We got another big blowout on this side over here. We see all the dirt washing out the bottom side. That's the bottom of the sheet right there. No tiebacks here either, which I don't quite understand that. How people could do that to somebody, a contractor, if they are, was a contractor. It's people doing stuff they don't know what they're doing and have no business doing. You can see here how the vinyl's installed incorrectly. Then you know how to put the vinyl together properly. You see all here is all blown out. Then again, no tiebacks down here at all. Ain't gonna work like that. They actually are able to fill the front stairs, like the stringers and everything, mm -hmm. with yeah. composite, so they don't feel bad. You see here when I'm talking about the vinyl, it's more of a Z shape instead of a box shape. It's not the proper way to do it. You kind of get an idea how tall this wall is now. Like I said, for no tiebacks on it all, I'm surprised it's even still standing up. Of demo, we got the boathouse removed and some of the dock pilings. Hopefully, get all those removed tomorrow. slate. Definitely 
case here of being short sheeted. See this? That's why this wall's failed pretty bad. Foot and a half in the ground, maybe. Very active shoreline, too. And not a single tie back. I don't know what's going on here.
Hey guys, decided to stop and get some breakfast from a local vendor here by the job site. I'm gonna get some breakfast burritos for them. You guys, I'm sure will be excited about it. Now we're at the end and you see we got here a little section. So we're trying to figure out, flip that over. We're trying to figure out how to make this work. So it looks like we put another corner on this corner right here. And wedge the sheet down. We've loosened up all our other sheets, taking the legs out, try to loosen up the vinyl. So we kind of squish them together a little bit. Let me get back so you can see what we're doing here. Get this connected to the existing seal. We'll have a nice tight seal all the way down. Good work. Twist. Your right hand inward. Yeah, I know. But I'm running into this whaler though. Hmm. Ooh, I'm running into this whaler right now. You might need to trim this whaler back a little bit. Cause I gotta twist it to get this side in. This side's in, but I gotta twist it to get this side in. How about this? How about we screw the bottom of the whaler in to hold it in place and twist it this way, put it on, unscrew it. Side. Yeah, but it wasn't a full sheet and it wasn't connected to all this either. What do we need to do? It needs to, this, 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 this piece needs to shift this way. But I'm running into the whaler that I'm standing on. Oh, I see what you're saying, that one. Yeah. Yeah, I could trim, I could trim that a little bit real quick. Yeah. Over here. I'm having issues getting this to line up. It worked on a small scale sheep, but now we're on a big scale. So what we're doing, is we're trying to force it over. And this is a reenactment. <laughs> uh, John's get it uh, forced into that little interlock right there, as you can see. And it's going to take a little bit of pressure. So hopefully we can make it work. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Um, can you push it that way just a hair? Just a little bit. It's gonna hit this other sheet right there. Whoa. Yeah. It's gonna break the block before it does anything. There you go. Right there. Yeah. John, do you want me to get out there? If you can hold it, I'll try to pull it down. Yeah, come on. Let it soak, you're going to lose it. All right. Hey, can you take it? It's a lot of work. We're getting this thing wedged in there. Pry it, get all the way down in there. It's so tough. It's going to be a good tight seal. Uh, we got it. Look at that. Inside view of the wall to wall, existing wall connection. We're gonna go ahead and run a return wall here also, just in the case that this guy ever does take his wall up for any unknown reason. It's been there for 10 years, when we built 10 years ago, it still looks great. But there's no way we can have any leaks in between the two walls. Hey guys, I really appreciate you checking out my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, give me a subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It really helps out with the YouTube channel. If you got any comments, please leave some comments on there and I'll try to get back with you.